Welcome to another video and episode on my um, Physionic Robo Interface. Um, programmed in BASIC, having a serial connection, motor connection, twice LED connection, uh, digital input from both the switch and the phototransistor, as well as analog input from a sonar ultrasonic and those are the motors as I said programmed in BASIC um, which is developed uh, in this case uh, to operate under Windows I'm not using Windows I'm losing Linux so I have to use the Wine emulator to get things done The algorithm um, controls either this um, LED and via switch, also this motor, and then also depending on the distance with a minimum reliable distance of two centimeters, these ones, and everything is transferred over the serial cable to a laptop. Um, where I can receive everything in the Minicom serial terminal or uh, more appropriately in uh, scientific language Octave where I can write things into a data law and there not everything goes uh, as fine as I had hoped so right here you see uh, two blinking LEDs um, which means that a uh, program is uh, running in random access memory the interpreter of BASIC is stored in flash and let's go so press And there you see it, how the distance is being influ uh, influences the speed. So with this explanation, let's go to the software side and do some interesting, hopefully, things. So on the software side, um, we have the uploader, which I already used to get things into the controller into the robot interface wine uh, the wine instruction to compile everything necessary because it's written for windows um, terminal for minicom but i'm not sure i will use it but let's do it anyway and i will have to set the speed because this indicates that it has the wrong speed and this is the better speed as you can see this is what you should get kind of um, the problem is also that with this in uh, while written in basic this is nice but when I get it in octave it's not so nice so let's take a look at that one um, by the way pressing then it is better to have a better a broader view like this maybe again pressing a switch that way better so then you see what the output is so let's quit this one and go to octave where I have to uh, if you look for the first time um, load instrument control package 
uh, using the uh, where I use uh, the serial part of that. Um, writing two file names. Open them. Receive data from the serial port. And then compare and write things to uh, data file. So with F5 I start right again. Um, I will have to um, claim ownership of TTY USB 0. Now it will do all right. Yep, there we go. So, and then let's go here, press the switch. And you see that things are not as smoothly as possible, which is unfortunate. Look, um, when I'm shining the photo for this one. We should be there. Is it actually supposed to be I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I did see. Alright. Anyway, what I found out also is that I um, um, Those are the vessel of, so, and this one is zero. It will stay zero until I have uh, ended this log, until I end from this program. So let's do that. And now the program is ended, but uh, this will continue running and now it has content. So, comparing to um, whatever happens, so string compare for um, for this one, it goes on and on, and when it compares to Sonar, it goes, um, it compares here. So, what can I do more to check things? Well, one of the uh, one of the things that I am wondering about yeah. Why um, here are characters missing? That is very strange. Looking at oh yeah, right, I should give the test a name. Uh, oh, that's better. This one is one. This one is of course a brown. Um, from time to time, 
cancers are not being sent correctly. And that is not very pleasant. So why does it happen? Why does it not happen in um, in income, but it does happen in one in uh, opaque. Sorry. So that's a strange thing. Does it also happen with other things? Well, I can of course change something. Um, let me change the algorithm a little bit, or more than a little bit, and. This is a uh, switch. Uh, it's a correct. No, this is the this is photo transistor. This is the switch. Uh, and I can. We can of course put three things in here. And if this is zero, a small input while say, or I will say no. The other thing is of course that I have to take in mind how many characters there are being sent, because if you look here, it's 22 characters. 22 bytes. Here, uh, uh, last time, I made this 22. But this is absolutely not 22. So there are things do go wrong. How many are they? This is 5, 10, um, 15, 20, um, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. So part of it will no doubt uh, go, um, go out of it. So how to deal with this, or not to deal at all. Let me first change this one, and so let's compile this. Um, yeah. was a compile result which is good so now let's upload and for uploading I have to power down I just cycled power uh, I have so now I can upload that's good then select the appropriate interface memory, I mean, that's what, go, and now I will have to take in, to keep in mind that I have um, a distance that is smaller than 5, smaller or equal to 5, um, and no pressed, so that I get this one, and if pressed, then I get that one, so let's just test this. Um, object right here. And um, right now, pressing and release. Press and release. 
So now I, oh wait, I should of course run it from here, otherwise it is no use. So I'm taking the camera, press and release and everything uh, between 2 and 5 centimeters, which is the case because I'm holding it at 3 centimeters. This motor is continuously running. Pressing. So that is one thing. Now, uh, in order to see the uh, result, I have to end the program. Go here. No. good so now let's see this one. Oh wait I have to look at this one data log and I have to look at the code because what does the code say sonar no small input while 2 Look at this. Makes absolutely no sense. No photo transist at TR and then sonar smalt. So this, yeah, sonar no insistor. It makes absolutely no sense at all. Look here. What is going on here? Text make no sense at all. And here I'm just putting everything in it for twenty two characters. So why do uh, characters disappear? That is a very good question. Um, analyzing, here I just get, uh, I load from the data, all 22 in them. I display them. 3, 2. Although here V2 says sonar is this is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 6. So what is this? V3 is and then V3. Oh, what I can do of course, to, just to make things a little bit clearer. V2 end. That way I am absolutely sure that there is nothing more coming. I think that's a good one. It won't be stored.
in the uh, in the file will be shown on uh, on display that may help let's do that so run see and that is already showing so v2 and then from here to here that's uh, that's the whole answer that's a very clear thing so indeed from here to here yeah the big question is though how long does it go on that's a uh, that's another question then how to find that result something I just realized and I already corrected it these are 22 characters but you fill each and every element but what happens if you uh, fill one element twice because this looks like look like this 11 so this one was filled twice and 21 was not filled at all and the same happened right here so now it's 21 not 11 anymore ouch what will that have as, have as a consequence not quite sure it won't be I think a very big consequence then the other thing is um, how to make sure that I have a very uh, clear delimiter I can say V2's end yeah clear but how do I see it can I of, of course I can uh, and uh, show that V22 is ended but there are 22 characters so it should be 23 something like this and have um, well what do I have let me look at the code and there is nowhere that I use something like um, something like exclamation mark or something I'm not using that so why not use that then I do know that things are going fine and then P22 size, v uh, size of V2 oh then it will be nice to end uh, to know what the size is so this um, size v2 and that will be then size of v2 Now my other question, uh, new question is: Does Flash say everything about this or not? Uh, we'll see. If size v2 is 23, then I'm all right. Then I do know that everything will be done. So let's go. Run. Yeah. Oh, that is uh, very clear. It is 23 now. So let's put something in it.
Oh, the transistor. At least I hope it detects something. Yeah, this is still working. And we start all over again. Anyway, let's see if I can get some nice uh, data now. Quick, um, go here, press here. So. With this one, well, not that um, remarkable. This is better. Look there. There's an exclamation. Why is the one at the uh, at the end? What's the one? Not quite sure. Alright, now you see here. Oh wait. Yeah. So this is the end. And here, this is the end. And here, this is the end. So both of them 50 and then an S. Um, and here. So you see that it is not consistent in length. And here. Here. Uh, find the exclamation marks. Absolutely inconsistent. I did not expect that to happen. What to do with that? I'm not quite sure. And at the same time, I noticed that time is running out now. So, this is interesting. Very interesting ending. And with uh, those two things, um, fixing an error in the uh, in the vector uh, element error, and adding an exclamation mark as ending of the string on screen. Which also raises questions. So, um, interesting things to get, uh, to get on with. For now, um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, please. Very much appreciated. Um, you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Um, Please show your support by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired. And you can also choose to become a patron and depending on the pledge you may have your name mentioned. And more information, um, please see my website which is listed in this video. Um, have a nice day. This will be continued of course. And bye bye.